This is Crowd4 News at 2. I'm Justine Waldman. These would-be burglars smashed into a popular Union Square store, but they were not able to steal anything. This afternoon, police are still searching for the people who got away, but they did leave behind a very critical piece of evidence. Crowd 4's Teresa Stasio joins us now from the newsroom with details here. Just another headline-grabbing incident at Union Square, but they didn't get away with anything? Didn't get away with anything. Now, Union Square has been the site of several high-profile crimes in the past years, including the shooting of a 49ers player. However, the latest statistics actually show that the popular shopping area is safer than in times past. Smash, but no grab, at least not this time. Around 4 a.m. Monday, San Francisco police say that officers patrolling Union Square saw this car ram into the Louis Vuitton store on Geary Street. Unsuccessful, the suspects drove off in two getaway cars. From like the national news and what I hear about San Francisco, I was expecting, I was expecting things to be worse than they are. Tourists in town say despite seeing glass littering the sidewalk from the attempted burglary, they feel safe in the city. And the latest data backs up their feelings. Crime stats on the central district of San Francisco, where Union Square is located, show a turnaround. This year, robberies are down 23 percent and burglaries down 23 percent compared to the same time last year. I haven't really felt unsafe. In addition to examining Union Square data, robberies and burglaries are down citywide as well. Robberies down 23 percent and burglaries down 12 percent. On August 31st, 49ers rookie receiver Ricky Persall was shot while shopping. This month, there was a group of people that rammed a car into the Christian Dior store in Union Square overnight before taking off with some stolen merchandise. Coming up on Crawford News at 3 o'clock, more from city officials about how they believe changes and plans and policies that they have put into place have helped crack down on crime and what they have to say about the holidays coming up, what they plan to do next. Reporting in the newsroom, Teresa Stasio, back to you, Justine.